spent the last 30 minutes waiting for the video to upload on YouTube. Copyright claim. Not even on the song. The song was copyright free, but I guess the song they used to make the song was copyrighted. So unlike the last few days, I actually do kind of have a plan for today. I want to go to the gym and get a gym membership. This is something I've needed to do for a while, but I was waiting for it to work camera. You're supposed to do your job. Kai, you broke my camera. I want to get a gym membership. This is actually something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I was waiting for the right moment, and now seems like the right moment. Okay, anyway, so as I was saying, first thing I need to do today is try to go get a gym membership. Let's go get that done. Let's see, it is. Office is closed. Okay, well, I, I don't have a key card. And I think they're closed on Saturdays. If in fact this is over the weekend, we will return your phone call no later than 12 o'clock on Monday. Thank you and have a great day. <sighs> they're closed on the weekends. I think I can still sign up online if I get the app. So I just did a little bit of my own research. Um, Right now it's telling me I'm gonna have to spend $150 to sign up for this place. That's not right. I even messaged Jen because I know she has a subscription there. It only cost her like $38 to sign up and then she pays like $37 monthly. And this is not like a big, like I could maybe get it if it was like this huge gym in like New York or something like that or California. But this is like the smallest gym. Like look, this is a tiny town. That place is trying to rob us. Yeah, so on top of that, um, I don't even know if I signed up today on the app if it would let me in, because it still might not give me like a card and you need a card to get in. So I'm gonna wait till Monday. I'm gonna go in and talk to the staff, see what the story is, like why is it so expensive. Right, puppy? I don't know what, the, that's crazy. <laughs> got a bit of a breeze right there. Now, I know you like apples. You don't like the green ones though, remember? They're sour. Okay, I promise you don't want this. It's a green apple. You like the red ones. Little fact about Kai. He actually loves apples, but he likes red apples. I tried to give him a green apple one time and he didn't like it, probably because they're sour. There's a real bummer about the gym. My biggest concern is that I'm going to go in there Monday and find out that there wasn't a miscommunication and it actually is going to be like $150 to sign up. That would be the biggest pain in the butt ever. Because I do not, I am not spending $150 for a gym membership. And then I also need to find out what the whole story is on like the monthly plan. So, I don't know. <sighs> Fantastic. So there's a couple of things that need worked on on the Jeep, and among those things, one of the big ones is the weather strip on the back of the hardtop. It leaks water and it's going to rain tomorrow. Well, I have a solution, but another one of the things is my own invention. So as you may know, I have these military water jerry cans on the back of the Jeep. I don't know, it lets me carry around like three times the amount of water than out of my main container. Well, every once in a while, that water container runs out. If I'm not able to fill up that container, I have to pull one of these things down and fill it up, which isn't the most convenient because they're kind of heavy, you have to pick it up, and then you have to like somehow funnel it in. Well, I came up with a new idea. Let's say that's good.
Okay, that's probably enough. And then you can funnel it out. I would love to say that I did that because I'm full genius, but um, my brother got a water bed recently and my parents had to fill it up in the house, of course, and then for some reason they had to deflate it. Well, I asked how they got all the water out and my dad was telling me he just hooked up the hose to it and then he sucked it out, it went downhill, and then they drained the water out that way via vacuum style using a funnel. And then I was like, hey, that's a genius idea. And so I stole it. My other issue is that water seems to leak out right along here, and then it leaks right into my pillow. This stuff is 11 bucks at Ace Hardware, and it's a uh, Auto and Marine Rubber Weather Swift Submarine. Auto and Marine um, rubber weather stripping. So I'm gonna put this along here and see how well that holds up. So I'm still at my grandparents' house. If you can see, there's a house right over there, and there's also a wide right over there. That looks exactly what my that's exactly what my Jeep would look like if I. Uh, hadn't painted it and stuff and I had just restored it. I'm not a good potato skin peeler puppy. Just coming off the trunk. So even though I am technically at a house and I could technically use a regular stove in a regular kitchen I could technically use a regular sink you know all that fancy fancy stuff that technically I could be using all that but I decided to come out here use my propane stove use my stuff you know get all my gear out and um, I, I did find out that my organization is uh because uh, I'm gonna have to clean all this up before I you know go to bed so yeah but um that that's pretty much the reason why I'm doing this because you know right now I have the ability to go inside if ever I need something or I forgot something or just something didn't work out I could just walk into the house but let's say I'm in the I don't know a rest area of some kind let's say I'm out camping in the middle of nowhere and it's just me and puppy Kai um, it, I'm gonna have to do you know figure it out for myself and I want to start getting used to that, you know, like the sun's going down now and I won't have much light left and I don't really have any lights in here so if it's dark and I'm not already set up and I don't know when to, you know, do all this stuff then I'm in a bit of a situation. Oh, the cows. He did chase them that one time so don't do it again. Don't, don't chase the cows. Nope. That owner's gonna shoot you. I don't want my puppy getting shot because he harassed the cows. That, that's pretty much why I'm out here cooking like this, you know, doing it like this. I'm just hoping that dinner tastes as good as it looks. So anyway, the sun's going down and I'm going to have to finish off this video. I will update you guys on the whole um, gym situation because I did some research and I learned some new things. So I will update you guys on that and I'm going to go now. I'm going to cook up this dinner, you know, and I really hope that all this stays good. It looks really good.